Dale Reynolds Gaming, racing excellence. Well, hello everybody, my name is Dale Reynolds. I sincerely thank you all very much once again for coming back to our NASCAR Thunder 2004 Rookie Championship Career Season Mode Challenge where fantasy becomes reality and the possible impossible become the possible. Thank you for welcoming me into your lives for another video here. We'll be doing Race 34 of 36 here, which will be the Checker Auto Parts 500 presented by Haviland from the Phoenix International Raceway. Thank you very much. Once again, I thank you for welcoming me into your lives for another video. In the last video, well, we finished second to Dale Earnhardt Jr., a.k.a. Redneck Jesus, but we clinched the championship. That was a pivotal race. We, we needed to finish 35th or better. We finished second. So we have officially clinched the championship, but the season is not over yet. So... We're going to continue to do this bad mamma jamma all the way through the end of Homestead. Legend difficulty, 10% race length, and no driving assists. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Every of your, all of your favorite NASCAR YouTubers who have not matched the standards that they have seen in this video have just been put on notice. All of your favorite NASCAR YouTubers who have ever played this game and done a playthrough on it, they just made the list. That's right. I'm the first one to throw the challenge out, and I've completed the challenge. Now it's time for everybody else to step up their game, get on my level, and do the same. Throwing it out there. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Catching everybody up here. So sponsorship, 95%, 95%, 95 prestige, 100 happiness on advanced auto parts all the way through the end of the season. Outback is at a 94 prestige, 70 happiness, and 93 prestige on Coca-Cola with 72 happiness. That's right. My team is all at 100% happiness, even though they're going to be slow-ass stops. Those bastards, I don't understand why. Uh, one race left on the engine bodies and chassis being overhauled, and we got three races left on building new engine bodies and chassis. And the engine dyno, we have five races left on. That's going to give us a little bit of extra engine power. Unfortunately, will not be available to us here in this playthrough. Once again, a big shout out and a big thank you, thank you to Senpai, aka What If Racing, the fourth and final scheme we'll be running of his here in this playthrough. Thank you very much for creating and allowing me to run this scheme. It is once again the Davy Kowicki scheme that we saw in NASCAR Thunder 2004 and his NASCAR Thunder 2004 playthrough. Colors just modified a little bit to accommodate the red and the yellow and the white and the black you know from advanced auto parts livery it is a ford taurus basic 83 with italic uh italic numbers once again thank you very much what if for being a part of it hopefully you enjoy your four races and um you know what it is the site of alan kowicki's first win phoenix 1988 89 I don't know. Forgive me for not knowing the exact year, but I know it's like the late 80s. It was the first, it was the it was the inaugural race at Phoenix that he won. I think it was 88. I think it was 88. But let's see if we can not only do What If Some Justice and Davey Kowicki Some Justice, but let's see if we can do some uh, Alan Kowicki Justice here. See if we can win in this Alan Kowicki styled paint scheme at the place where he won his first career race at. That would be pretty cool. For those of you that are paying attention and wanting to know, the car rating is a 62. Let's head to Phoenix. Wow, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Wallace is on the pole. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, let me take it. Let me show you guys the car set we'll be using here at Phoenix here. And manual transmission, per usual, 20 PSI on the tire pressure. Downforce, 74 inches on the front fender flare, 55 degrees on the rear spoiler. A little bit of downforce built into the car. Not a lot, though. Um, 40 to 40% 40 front and rear springs, no staggered here, no staggered springs, negative 1.0 on the wedge, so it is wedged down just a little bit. 
the custom gear ratios is a preset 5. All it's changed though is this fourth gear is moved back to a 1.13 just to get a little bit extra RPM down the straightaways. This is not a shifting setup. You can make it a shifting setup if you'd like. I just personally don't shift at Phoenix. I never, never really have. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Car felt pretty good right there coming off the last corner. Show you guys the second lap here. Pull run on the first lap, but I will show you this second lap. Going into turn one, it's kind of a butt feel. Um, there's no real marker that I use, but there is a marker that I use here coming into turn three. It's a blue Goodyear or a blue Pepsi sign right there, Pepsi sign, that I use. And I overdrove the snot out of that corner. I was looking for the mark rather than focusing on my marks. <laughs> But that blue Pepsi sign right there is where I usually hit the brakes going into turn three. 26.59, good enough for the pole. Why? I beat Herman, all Herman by three tenths of a second. Car felt really good. Ladies and gentlemen, we have already won the championship, but I don't care. I want to buff the shit out of the stats for the next three races. And I have sponsors still to maintain and please and keep happy. And I also have one Senpai, a.k.a. What If Racing, to make happy. See if we can't do a little bit of Alan Kowicki justice here at Phoenix. Running an Alan Kowicki-based paint scheme. Davey Kowicki, Alan Kowicki scheme here at Phoenix. Hopefully we can show Alan, Ko Alan Kowicki, the NASCAR legend, some love here by winning this race at Phoenix. And doing him some justice. Let's go racing in the desert, ladies and gentlemen. The 83 car will start this race with the all-important points lead. You know, I'll tell you, consistency is the key to the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. If he can remain focused on that, he has a good shot at winning. Forty-three Winston Cup engines fire here in the Valley of the Sun. How about that? What if on the pole with an Aller Kowicki set up here at Phoenix, and I got old Herman next to me, Rust, uh, uh, old Herman, Kenny Wallace next to me here. I know the championship's already locked up, but I want to buff the stats out of this, my friend. I'm gonna go for the win here at Phoenix. Let's do it. Kenny Wallace is going to fall back like immediately. <laughs> Have no problem clearing him off of turn one or turn two, excuse me. Again, using those, marker, using those markers I pointed out in qualifying. Should be good here. Car cuts really good center off of turn three and four. Going to lead this first lap and already got a nice little gap out to Jeff Gordon in second. They're a little bit better than me in one and two, but in three and four, I feel like we're really good in three and four. That's where we gain a lot of, gonna gain a lot of speed here, because the three and four is actually a little bit more broad, a little bit more of a longer corner, and we're kind of set up more towards three and four than we are turns one and two. But we are pulling away ever so slightly. You can see that those passing indicators are coming and going. They kind of light up a little bit going into the corners, but we pull away coming out of the corners. So hopefully we. See if we can't uh, gain a little bit more time here on Jeff Gordon as the passing indicators go away. We pulled away a little bit. Gordon was running second. I'll be pitting this time here. Gordon was running second. He was about two and a half seconds behind. He pit a little early. Honestly, I'm feeling like I could have put a little more downforce into this car because it is starting to get a little wicked going into the corners and it's actually kind of tight in the center. Um, just throwing that out there, I will be, okay, not pitting this time, apparently. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Holy shit, I fucked that one up. Wow. Wow. That is something I haven't done in a very long time. Is completely miss pit road. I haven't done that in forever. I've come into pit road blazing, blazing freaking guns and four tires squealing and speeding like crazy. I have 
not missed pit road like that bad in a long ass time. That is insane. But I'm pitting here, and I'm not gonna make any adjustments to it. Car's pretty good otherwise. It's good on the long run. Um, it just gets really, really twitchy there on the long run, um, going into the corners, and it gets real tight in the center. So maybe I should have built more downforce into it. Um, but hopefully my pit crew gives me a good stop here. It looks like that way so far. And we can get back out into the lead here. Good stop, 15-2. I will take that. Thank you very much, pit crew. But we did get beat by Jeff Gordon because that's my own fault because I missed pit road like the fucking rookie that I am sometimes. Good lord. Hopefully we can get this time back here and we can get back up to the lead and fight Jeff Gordon for this win here at Phoenix. There we go. Nice little run going into turn three right there. Going to try and move past Ryan Newman up to the third position. I see lap traffic ahead. Jeff Gordon is 2.1 seconds ahead. We had it out to two and a half seconds. So hopefully in this run, if we can emulate what we did in the first run, we'll be there and fighting Gordon for this win, hopefully. I just got to get around Dale Jarrett. There we go. Kind of driving in real deep and hit the brakes kind of hard. Up to second now, tracking down Jeff Gordon. Lap traffic ahead, definitely going to play a factor with the lead here coming towards the end of this race. Trying to really get good. That's where our good point is, is going into turn three and through the center and off of turn four. Look at the distance we have gained in one lap right there. We are already down to nine tenths of a second with the help of lap traffic. He is stuck, he can't go anywhere. Ashton Lewis and Christian Fittipaldi kind of blocking him in right there. Gonna again do our patented little drive into turn three, stomp on the brakes, drift up the track about a half a lane, gain a ton of time right there. Didn't give Christian Fittipaldi even the chance to block. Ashton Lewis is being very nice, so is Mike Skinner getting around those guys and there is the lead right there Jeff Gordon whoa 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 oh ooh, drove in a little too deep sorry Jeff that's right he's got uh, Casey Mears in front of him he's got in the way Mears in front of him but we have taken this lead back now we got to get around Casey Mears and we will do that so now Jeff Gordon is stuck behind Casey Mears. We have reclaimed the lead here at Phoenix. Somebody blowing up here and the bottom of three and four as Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch engine expires here at Phoenix. And Jeff Gordon has now gotten around Casey Mears. Want to try to get gone while the tires are good before the tires really wear out. You can see that the in passing indicator has disappeared once again through the center of three and four. Pulling away here at the end of this Phoenix race. And the indicator comes back and then goes away. And then it comes back and then it goes away. And then it comes back and goes away. Jack Sprague, don't you fucking do it. Let's get out of my way. Get out of the way. That's right. Oh, Petty, don't throw a block. It's the white flag. What are you doing, man? White flag, we're going to have to go here at Phoenix. Not even close. We did more damage on this last run than we did in the first run. Gordon is like three and a half seconds back. And you know what, Kyle Petty? Fuck out of here. Stop that blocking shit. You're a fucking rolling roadblock chicane. Fucking, yeah. That's right. Taking the win at Phoenix. Yes. Padding them stats. How about that? Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Redneck Jesus, and Ryan Newman, the top five here in the Checker Auto Parts 500. Presented by Havilland. Taking the win with What If Dario paint scheme. Ladies and gentlemen, no burnouts. We're doing it Alan Kowicki style right here. Paying homage to Alan Kowicki. Alan Kowicki style, baby.
All right. Tribute to Alan Kowicki. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. No burnouts. Very classy. How about that? That beautiful Phoenix trophy. Yeah. Paying homage to Alan Kowicki by winning at Phoenix with an Alan Kowicki based scheme. Senpai, what if? I hope I have made you proud and done you right. <laughs> Kyle Petty's a negative 10 rival. Jeff Gordon's a negative 10 rival. Jeff Green's still kind of an ally. That's kind of cool. I got a new best lap at a 26-28. I went faster in the race than I did in qualifying. That's kind of funnier than hell. $8.57 million in the bank after Phoenix. Once again, more EA Sports bio accomplishments. Oh, we're setting it on fire right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, point standings after Phoenix. It's a moot point at this point. It's like a cow's opinion. It's moo. It doesn't matter. This is all a moo point. Huh. A moo point? Yeah. It's like a cow's opinion. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's moo. Have I been living with him for too long, or did that all just make sense? That's right. Anybody who's a Friends fan can point that one out. 584 points now over Dale O.P. Jarrett. Like I said, the championship has been far locked up. 34 starts, 26 polls, 15 wins, 27 top fives, and 30 top tens in 34 starts in our rookie championship career season mode challenge. Dale Jarrett, Tony Stewart, Redneck Jesus, and Jeff Gordon in the top five with Ryan Newman, Mark Martin, Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, and Jimmy Johnson in the top ten. Having a, There's a decent fight for second there. Jarrett's got it. Stewart wants it. It's about 50-ish points. 54, it looks like, actually. 54 points to be exact. Um, then we've got a decent battle for the fourth spot. Gordon and Junior kind of fighting for that, kind of together. And then Newman's a ways back. Martin's a ways back. And then Bobby Labonte's a ways back. And, uh, yeah... Yeah, it's not very exciting. This is the reason why we have playoffs now, folks. <laughs> All right, checking in our sponsorship. Still 95 prestige on Advanced Auto. That is fantastic at 100 happiness. All my crew guys still 100 happiness. We do have fresh equipment coming up here for the next race, which will be at Rockingham. So I will go ahead and overhaul anyway. Even though these now officially, these over this overhauling that we're doing for the engine body and chassis, we won't see that for the end of the playthrough. That won't be until Daytona. We won't see that until Daytona anyways. But like I said, if I ever want to pick this up and come back to this career mode, I will have everything ready for me in case if I want to do that. So um, repairing the, the bodies and the engines, because there's no performance game, but there is a performance game on the chassis. So overhauled the chassis. Four races left on the engine dyno. What if? Thank you very much. Hopefully we have done you some justice, and hopefully I have made you proud at least winning the Phoenix race in an Alan Kowicki based set up in an Alan Kowicki based scheme that you ran as Davey Kowicki. That's right. Hopefully we did you some justice. Hopefully you enjoyed your four races that we did for you. And as always, I thank you, every single one of you for watching. My name is Dale Reynolds. Thank you for welcoming me into your lives for yet another NASCAR 30 2004 Rookie Championship Career Season Mode Challenge video. If you like what you saw, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and that subscribe button. This way you get notified anytime I put up a video on NASCAR Thunder 2004 or otherwise. Hopefully you're having a great day. Hopefully my video brings a little bit of joy to your day. Breaks up the monotony a little bit. I always end my videos with be safe, have fun. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be race 35 of 36, the Pop Seeker 400 from Rockingham. Be safe, have fun. I am out of here. Have a great fucking day. Deuces. Mr. Clown.
Shake. 